Hey guys, Melon is back. <laughs> um, and it's so late. It's a little after 11. My son, I was hoping he was asleep earlier today, but no. Lately he's been uh, skipping naps. Uh, not like daily, but a couple of weeks ago he skipped, I think, maybe three or four days of the week, which isn't too bad, but I mean, usually he takes naps, you know, like every day. So I don't know if it's because he's really trying to be done with naps or not although he does go back and forth like maybe he does a nap two two days one or two days and then takes a nap and then the same thing you know the one after he does a nap again and stuff like that so what we've been trying to do uh, is just extend the amount of time he's up before the nap uh, before it used to be about five like five hours or so before he took a nap and then when he woke up five hours or so before he went to bed so we're extending it to about six hours but usually even when he goes to bed supposedly he takes about an hour to like doze off completely uh, on average sometimes it's less of course sometimes it's more but anyway today just took a little longer than expected i was hoping to come earlier to make a video for you guys um i will be uploading this directly to youtube like i did my last one so when i do that just fyi uh, I don't have any of my links down below in the description box. I think last time I just added the Instagram uh, link for that or for me, uh, since that's usually what I what I check most uh, nowadays, or my Facebook page. But since my shops aren't really open yet, I don't know if that's really a place to go. But if you do, if you do want to check out any of my other links, they are they are on any other video, the ones that that start. The title starts with Malon Makes. Those have other links in them. Any video before that probably does as well. Any video that I edited uh, has that information. And I think it's also like on my main info. If you go to, I guess, like my channels page or whatever, it should be on there as well. Okay, so let me start by showing you guys the finished sweater, which I did finish it finally. If you guys have seen my last video, you know my sad story about not finding a brown that was an exact match. But as you can see, it is pretty close. I think on camera you can tell maybe a little, you can definitely tell better as far as the difference between both browns. But I think definitely passable. Um, I was really happy because I had enough of the same green color to finish both sleeves. Uh, my son has worn it one time and actually I have not washed this yet. Uh, when he did wear it, it fits pretty well. I took some pictures but they're not great. I mean, he's they're all blurry pretty much because he moves so much. But anyway, um, probably for the next video since I can't really edit this one anyway. Uh, as you guys know, I'm pl I plan to just upl upload it directly and I've been trying to find like an app where I can just edit videos on either the phone or the tablet, but I couldn't find any that does, or the, yeah, that does what I'm looking for uh, for free. Although I don't mind paying for it, but I think I just prefer to edit. If any edit, editing is to be done, I prefer it to be on a computer as opposed to the phone or tablet. I think it's just more easier for me. So pictures uh, will be in the next video, hopefully whatever video I edit next. Uh, when he did wear it one time, uh, that one time he wore it. <laughs> um, you know like the neck, of course I opened this to put his head in. He does have a big head. So definitely have to open these up to put it on. Um, he keeps like scratching his neck. I don't know if it's because it's a little, like the neck is a little more closed than what he is used to wearing, like as opposed to regular t-shirts or uh, you know, store-bought sweaters or stuff like that. Or if it's also because maybe the yarn, although I don't feel it to be so bad. Uh, it, it is Red Heart Super Saver, again from what I believe it is. Um, haven't washed it, so but I will, so I hope that will kind of soften it, soften it enough. And as you guys know, with acrylic usually it kind of becomes a little looser. Not looser, what is the word for that? It doesn't expand, but... Although I think sometimes the yarn does kind of stretch out and grow a little the more you wash it. But uh, you guys know what I'm saying. Hopefully it's not as scratchy. 
Hopefully he gets a little more space in the neck area, so that will be that will be good. And actually hasn't been that that cold well, I wouldn't say that cold. It hasn't been as cold as it has been. We've had a few days where it's been below 30 or at least in the 30s during the daytime. So now it's it's gone up to I think 40s and up lately. So hasn't really been wearing, you know, too many sweaters yet. I don't know if it's going to again. I don't know if winter is over <laughs> or not. But anyway, uh, I finished that. I did start to work on uh, a sweater. No, it's actually a jacket. I mentioned it to you guys. Yes. I was going to say yesterday I showed you guys, but I meant the last video you guys have seen. I got some yarn from Hobby Lobby that I wanted to make a sweater or a jacket with that I mentioned. Um, I didn't bring the book with me. To show you what the jacket looks like but it's a garter stitch jacket so it's pretty much just garter stitch i have this so far uh, again not much to see it's just a really long rectangle at this time um it's pretty much a jacket that you start from the bottom so you go all the way up to like the armpit area and then you divide it up to do you know the front and the back and all that this is what i have so much so far uh, I like the color a lot, as I mentioned, that's why I picked it out. Um, I do not know, actually, if I got enough yarn for it. I got enough as far as what the book suggested, like what the pattern suggested to get for the size I'm making. But my gauge is definitely off. I think my gauge is probably like one, one stitch less than whatever the pattern calls for. Um, of course, I did my numbers and I, I did the math, so... I would get like the same size as you know per the pattern but just with my gauge but because of that I don't know if I have enough yarn uh, if I have to go get more it's not really a big problem I was also thinking of maybe some of it uh, striping with a different color just to kind of stretch out or stretch the amount of blue yarn I have as I mentioned the jacket supposedly you work from the bottom up and then of course do the front and the back uh, it also has a hood uh, I think you do it like attached as you're finishing up, you know. I was thinking of uh, doing the stripes in the hood part as well as the sleeves. I don't know if the sleeves that you do separately and then you sew it on or if you just sort of like put together the body and then pick up stitches. But whatever, uh, either one of those I'm going to do, either both the hood or the arms probably. I think you will also add a little bit more style <laughs> and I love stripes stripes are so easy to do I mean I think I'm, I have a thing for stripes recently especially the next thing I'm going to show you guys is another work in progress this is actually a pattern in progress I would say again you have seen this already the knitted uh, fingerless gloves uh, I made a pattern for and I finally think I'm going to be um, editing the pattern and having it ready for testing. If anybody wants to test it, uh, it is a knit pattern so far. Uh, again, it just fingerless gloves. The whole thing about the pattern is that uh, the stripes here, you can change any color you like. Well, obviously you can choose any color for any any of the parts, but uh, you can choose a, a accent color, any color you like. Also, I made this extra long, so it covers most of your fingers, so you stay warm, but when you want to or need need to you can fold it back like this so anyway this is the knitted one um, like I said I just, have, I just have to edit like edit the pattern um, I only made one of these colors uh, which is for me this this pair is for me I'm going to do the other one like the matching one make sure the pattern is as I like it again I will try to have it done by the 15th um, if anybody wants to uh, I guess uh, what do you call it want to try out the pattern let me know how it works for you uh, etc let me know and ideally I would like to publish it for the end of the month or by the end of the month anyway again it's, it will be a free pattern and this year I'm trying to do I will try to do or maybe I should say I will do one pattern um, one pattern a month like I tried to do last year so definitely this will be the January pattern and my work in progress other than the other one of course um, the pair for that one 
is I'm trying to come up with a, a crochet version, but it definitely needs some work. Uh, I'm starting from the bottom up. This would be some ribbing. I'm thinking that you know what I don't I don't really like the ribbing part of it. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do the stripes like one you know one scot one color per stripe or one stripe per color or if I'm going to change it up to two two stripes per color. I still have to see that. I'm also not really happy with the ribbing. This is just the front post back post ribbing. Uh, there's also the other ribbing where. I guess you would, you know, work on it this way and then maybe, a, you know, I guess, what do you call it? I was going to say attach it, but you guys know what I mean. The other ribbing, they can go. Okay, anyway, I don't know if ribbing and crochet really works for me. I don't, I don't really like the look of it as far as in this project. So I think I'm going to try the other ribbing one time at least and see how that looks see how that is and depending on that uh, again this is my pattern in progress I guess so working on trying to make a crochet you know crochet version yeah I think crochet and knitting is are definitely like two different different things two completely different things uh, trying to translate between one and the other like as far as how things look or trying to make it equal or whatnot, it's a little hard. Um, it'll be my first time trying to make a crochet pattern from, uh, I guess, from a knitting pattern or trying to make it look the same or whatnot, or a different version, I guess, in crochet. So I don't know how long that will take me. If I can definitely figure it out, ideally I would post it up or have it out along with a knitted one that way you know you can make either version whatever you like but to be honest I don't know if that's gonna happen actually you know what I think it could happen I just need to find like a little bit of time where I can just sit and like find something that I like you know do something that I like how it looks and then that's how it's going to be kind of thing <laughs> so you know um, maybe well so just in case I may have that out as well for the 15th to be uh, if anybody wants to try it out, um, either the crochet or the knit version. Next thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, just some stuff that I recently purchased and got. Um, first of all, it's my glasses. I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys before, but recently I went to the eye doctor uh, optometrist, right? <laughs> um, yeah, because... Uh, you know, I play games, right? I like video games a lot. Since my son was born, that definitely has decreased totally for at least two years complete. I haven't played anything. And, uh, more, yeah, I guess more recently I've been starting to play again. So if you can see my couch back there, that's against the wall, right? The TV here in our, in our living room, it's all the way over there against the other wall. And a lot of games, not all, but a lot of games have uh like writing that you have to read it's not even subtitles that like that someone speaks and then that you, you can read it as well but you know nobody speaks you know it's just the, the writing you have to read like a lot of story games or storylines and stuff like that so anyways uh sitting all the way across the room uh i couldn't read it uh some were big enough that i could but still a very blurry. Um, some of it is so small that I still cannot. So I just got, well, well, anyway, anyway, that, that's why I went to the doctors. I haven't been there for probably five plus years, uh, just cause I, I guess I didn't need to, I assumed or whatever. So anyway, he suggested I get glasses, even if it's just for reading or driving or stuff like that. So I finally got them. I finally received them. I place the order in you guys so here you go let me know what you think these are it I got them from Costco and I, I like them I like them a lot but I've noticed that I get a lot of glare from like here's where the TV is and right here is where we have a lamp the lamp that we use all the time for I guess lighting here in the living room I get so much glare from the lamps, like I can see like the glare, you know, 
so I think I need to go get it fixed um you know I, I think they have something for like uh, glare free something about the glare I'm sure they have something like that so I need to go get that done I guess because that that really bothers me to be honest and also it's I just don't like how uh, easy they smudge I didn't get the lenses um, with any kind of treatment it's just regular lenses um, so definitely would appreciate having like smudge proof lenses that would be awesome uh, my son is definitely not into the glasses um, my husband wears glasses all day every day uh, and my son has a fun time trying to slap them <laughs> off his face and with me since I've never worn any before and I'm not gonna wear these like all the time so I mentioned that I mean I wouldn't mind just, but Rohan is slap happy sometimes again like I mentioned with my husband so uh, but since I, I've never had them before with me he's just been kind of looking at me from a distance and you know telling me to take them off <laughs> and doesn't want to come too close to them yet but anyway uh, but also because of that sometimes like the way he plays is if I'm like sitting on the couch he would just uh, you know run run to me and then you know do a hug and the fact that he can you know just hit himself on anything I may be wearing or if he bumps into my face I don't want him to bump into the glasses and stuff like that so again probably will not be wearing them anytime but in case that I am wearing them uh, again that's mudging because you know he, he touches food then touches everything else and all that kind of thing so definitely going to to look for that or see if I can get that done uh, I do have a couple more items to show you guys. Uh, not, one is yarn. I guess I'll show you that first. Um, I did purchase some yarn uh, during some, uh, I guess they were having Christmas sales. Uh, I finally received them. This is from a place called Discontinued Brand Name Yarn. Um, I just got some skeins. Uh, these uh, are, they're all the same from the same company. Uh, they are in Encore DK yarn from uh, Plymouth Plymouth yarn and it's just three different colors these dark blue the red and they just kind of split them up somewhere and also the light blue and green um, let me see do they have the details here I didn't open it up it up since I wasn't really gonna use them like right now right now but again they're all the same uh, let me see there each ball is 50 grams uh, I don't know the information guys 25% wool and the rest the rest of the percentage is acrylic again I know I'm sorry about the glare all the glare I'm talking about I'm sorry guys but yeah not not very exciting but I just thought that I could you know if I make work on anything else it could be a little softer and stuff like that and it's still machine washable, so that's great. Uh, because again, I'm not really gonna take my time to wash by hand anything if I don't have to. That's probably my my only yarn related stuff. The other one is just a, a planner. Well, I, I don't know if they call it a planner by itself, but anyway, I went to Michael's today to check out just the stuff they had. Um, and I was looking for like a, yeah, like a planner type where I can write uh, more like monthly weekly goals and I didn't find anything that I really liked uh, until I went down the aisle of like where they have what was it I guess like for, for people that do that they do a lot of journal I think it's journaling do they call it where they have like this huge binders or these huge like notebook type of things where they have sections for everything you know like sections for I don't know uh, lists and goals and stuff like that I guess it'll be journaling right I I'm not really into that that scene <laughs> or that crowd so I don't really know what what the terms are but anyway I went through there and I find this I found a small one I believe that's part of it like part of the journaling section but and I assume that you can plug it into you know your journal via this holes whatever 
But anyway, it's just his project. And I thought it was so cool because it was exactly, like, exactly what I was looking for. Um, let me just show you guys. For example, I love that this is exactly what I wanted. It just has, like, the week here. So you can write your, your information for what you're going to do during the week. And I can see the whole week, you know, in, in one page, like, one layout. I love that. And they have it for each week of the month, of course. I think it'll be so, so good to just keep track of my goals and whatnot. So they also have the monthly, just monthly information here. You can enter all the monthly stuff. And then after this page, you know, they have the week, the four or five weeks after that. I thought that was so cool. I was so excited when I found this one. Um, actually, I don't know how long this is. Like, how long would it last if it's like for three or four months or something like that I don't know but I mean I, I wouldn't mind buying more of these um, I think this one specifically was around like six dollars or something like that um, I did use a coupon for it they had a 40% coupon for Michael so I paid for like four dollars I think it's totally totally worth it I mean it's so small enough for me to just carry it anywhere with me I can just, you know, jot down information or whatever I want to, whenever. Um, I don't know if, well, I was thinking more of, like, life goals and stuff like that, or goals in general, like I mentioned, that I want to do, like, a, at least publish one pattern a month. Like, those type of things to just keep track of that. Um, not really. Although, you know what, uh, I want to say that not really, like, m more yarn goals, Specifically, because other than like the pattern one, I don't really have a specific yarn goal that I want to do. Even this year, I mean yearly or monthly or whatever. So, but I mean, you could, you could definitely use it for any, you know, any yarn stuff you want to do. Like if you want to keep track of your projects and stuff, I can definitely see this also working. Which, you know what, I think I just gave myself an idea. <laughs> There's something else to write in here. So, okay, I think that's all you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.